Hey guys, Icy Cat here. We now know what the entire weapon loadout for the new operators for Year 5 Season 1 are going to be. That's right, Year 4's last season hasn't even gotten underway yet, and we already know what the entire weapon loadout for primaries and secondaries are for both of the new operators for next year's new operators. Stick around as I break down the attacker and defender loadouts next. <laughs> So this is absolutely insane. We have the information for what the Year 5 Season 1 Operator Weapon Loadouts are going to be for both the Attacker and the Defender for their primaries and secondaries. And this leak isn't just a rumor, you can't get any more official than the fact that it is in the current test server right now. It seems like somebody on the dev team made a bit of a mistake and left some unintentional placeholder files there for everybody to see. If you go under certain guns and take a look at weapon skins that are applicable only to that gun model, you will find that when it tells you which operators this gun applies to, that in some cases, there is a placeholder icon saying that it is locked for year five season one operator. So I'm gonna go over the complete list of all of the weapons that were found to have this placeholder icon on them. Let's start with the attacker loadout. So the first weapon we find that on is the G36C. So this is one of Ash's primary weapons and looks like it will be one of the primary choices for the attacker. The other primary choice is the ARX200. This would be one of Nomad's primary weapon loadouts. So the attacker is going to have a choice between one of these two primary assault rifles, the G36C or the ARX200. Now sidearms is where things get a little sketchier because there's three of them and we don't know which ones will be for the attackers and which ones will be for the defenders. It's obvious to tell what the assault rifles are for, that will be for the attacker. But for these three sidearms, we're unsure which one goes where. First up is the USP-40. This is the seldom used pistol sidearm that is available for both Mira or Jackal. Most people will typically take the ITA-12S pocket shotgun, but for those that don't, the USP-40 is their backup pistol. The next sidearm locked for Year 5 Season 1 operator is the Mark 1 9mm. This is the sidearm available to the JTF-2 operators Buck and Frost, so this handgun will now be an available choice for that operator in Year 5. The third sidearm choice is a really interesting one. It's the Bailiff 410. Previously, this was available for either Maestro or Alibi and was a defender accessible only sidearm. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be confined to the defender this time around. It could go to the attacker, but it has previously only been available on defense. This is a handy one because having that pocket shotgun in pistol revolver form will allow you to go ahead and breach hatches for rotations or make small murder holes, things like that. Finally, we're going to take a look at the Defender primary loadout. First up is the MP5 SMG. This is one of the most stable and powerful SMGs in the game. That doesn't necessarily mean it will be paired up with an ACOG, maybe the new operator won't have that choice, but it looks like it will still be one of the selections the operator can make. Alternatively, the primary shotgun is going to be the SPAS-12. Currently, the only operator in the game that can make this selection is Valkyrie. Now, the new defender for next season will also be able to choose this option. So there you go. We have the known primaries for the attacker and the defender, as well as the secondary options. Between the three of them, not sure which ones go which way, but we have the entire loadout for both of the two new operators, and it is clearly labeled for Year 5 Season 1. So when the dev team was making this build of the test server, they clearly left this in by accident. This isn't a placeholder that's meant to be here. Now, the test server is updated very regularly. They will sometimes do daily updates on it, or a few days will go by before an update comes, but we do know that they update it often. So this placeholder may not even wind up sticking around for long, which is why I made sure to record the footage last night when it was still fresh before it might get taken out. At this point though, the cat's already out of the bag. Now, of course, the obvious thing that everybody is probably already thinking is, yet again, we have recycled weapons for the next season coming up. That was a trend that we saw start this year for the first time. We had a little bit of hope when it was revealed that Callie was going to have a sniper rifle that was unique to her. It was the first new weapon we've seen on any operators for several seasons. But unfortunately, her sidearms, as well as Wami's entire loadout, were all reused weapons. And it looks like we're going to continue that trend into year 5 season 1. 
Now, I'm sure behind the scenes, they have their own reasons for why they made this choice. But as a community, I think we've all been definitely hoping to see something new come along. And unfortunately, it does not look like that's going to be the case. Now, one caveat to put here. This is what we see on the test server right now. It is labeled as year five season one. That doesn't mean that it's impossible for the dev team to change their mind. They could actually pull a rabbit out of their hat, especially once they realize that they've kind of already shown everybody what it's going to be and the disappointment that might come with that. They may actually wind up doing something to go ahead and make a different selection in light of those facts. That is possible. However, the groundwork looks like it is already in place and they will more than likely stick with the established plan. So is it possible they may still change their mind and make a different selection in the end? Yes, but it looks like the groundwork is already laid for it. So what do you guys think about this? Do these sound like solid loadout choices to you? Or does it just really bother you that they still have not added new weapons into the game by this point? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification icon so you get alerted as soon as new info is available. You can also follow me over at IcyCat25 on either Facebook or Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.